Ukraine's Marta Kostchuk said shaking hands with Belarus Victoria Azarenka after their U.S. Open match would not have been the right thing to do. Kostchuk, who lost 6-2, 6-3, said she texted Azarenka to tell her she would not do the customary handshake, with the pair tapping rackets at the net. Belarus has been a key ally of Russia in the war against Ukraine. Everyone's trying to be super diplomatic about this thing. My nation is being killed daily, said Kostchuk. Kostchuk, 20, criticized Azarenka's planned involvement in a Ukraine benefit event held in New York last weekend. The Belarusian was later withdrawn. Azarenka said she was not surprised by Kostchuk's decision not to shake hands after their second round match at Flushing Meadows. I don't believe that making a big deal out of it is important. I always shake hands with my opponents, and quat, said two-time major. Winner Azarenka. Kostchuk was born in Ukrainian capital Kiev, which has been a focal point of Russian attacks since the country invaded its neighbor in February. The world number 65 has been one of the players most vocal in speaking out about the war, regularly highlighting the devastating impact on Ukrainians caused by Russia's actions. In April, she was one of several Ukrainian players who called for Russian and Belarusian players to be banned from the ATP and WTA tours unless they publicly denounced the war. I feel like I don't know any single person who condemned the war publicly, and the actions of their government. I don't feel like I can support this, said Kostchuk. We had a great match, don't get me wrong. She's a great competitor, I respect her as an athlete but that has nothing to do with her as a human being. Former world number one Azarenka has had a friendly relationship in the past with Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko, who is a key ally of Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin. Azarenka, 33, has not explicitly denounced the war, but has regularly called for an end to the conflict and says she wanted to take part in the U.S. Open's Tennis Plays for Peace event last week. But, following criticism from Kostchuk and other Ukrainian players, the United States Tennis Association said Azarenka would not participate given the sensitivities. It's a no-brainer for me. Like, why wouldn't I participate in a humanitarian aid? For people who are really struggling right now. It's not even a thought for me at that moment, said Azarenka after her match with Kostchuk on Thursday. I thought this was a gesture that really shows commitment. I'm not sure why it wasn't taken that way. I don't want to judge that. That's what happened. I can't force it. I'm not going to go and say, oh, how dare you? It's not my place. My place is to be there to offer my help, and that's it.